What's up, people? Of course, I'm Leroy here, and Mr. Dave Walpole is right here. And welcome to I.O., where we overload you with some information. Okay, so, Bridget, like, say you like you're in the mood, right? Yeah, I've been in the mood before. What kind of mood are we talking you about? You know, Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. Let's get it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not now, though. You're just in a mood, and whatever, like you're sad, you're happy, you're angry, and then all of a sudden you have like your own personal orchestra that knows exactly what your mood is and plays music catered to that mood. I think that would be neurotastically sound. Well, we're almost at that technology, but Neuroware actually has these headphones that kind of reads your mind, knows your mood, and chooses music based on the mood that you're in. That would actually be pretty disastrous for me. I mean, like, think of it this way. You're, you're walking out on the street, you got your headphones, you're jamming, you're having a good time, and you see this beautiful girl, and it's like, I've been feeling right, as we say, you know, it's getting in the groove, something, maybe Latin comes on board, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm spicy. Latin flavor. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're walking out on the curb, some guy cuts you off, and it'd be like, angry music, True. you know? Like, nah, 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 it'd be more like, Gautier, but she didn't have to cut me off. And then switch to like some uh, Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Is Marilyn Manson even a real person? What is he? Like, didn't he get like boob implants, but like he's a man? I heard he got his rib cage, you know, removed. So basically, he uses this technology called electroencephalography. I can't really say it, but they do call it EEG technology. So we're gonna dumb it down for you guys and myself. So basically, what all that means is that these headphones have sensors that read your brain waves. It's actually a technology that goes hand in hand with an iPhone app and plays the music according to your mood. I guess who's making it? The Japanese, like they didn't already do know. I have yeah, do I have to say anything, really? Uh, technology, Japanese, stereotypes. Aside, guys. Okay, I know you're all sitting there thinking, oh, where can I get one? When can I get it? Where is it going to be? Is it going to get shipped to Canada, the United States, and the rest of the world? Or is it going to be Japanese only? Kind of like the word Yamamoto. So if you're thinking about getting one, here's something you might want to think about. The thing is, it's great and all, but it doesn't really entirely work that well because the whole system can actually be disrupted by walking too fast or hair. Follicles. Sounds like not a good project to me. Can this thing actually simulate nature soundtracks? Like, say you're in oh, water cool. and like you're scared of like sharks, and then it starts to you know just. That would be pretty cool. Oh, I don't think we're there yet. So let's know. Would you guys buy something like this? I'd uh, buy it. You yeah, buy it? Yeah, yeah I think I would too. Yeah. I mean, but here's the question: What would be the soundtrack for each emotion? You know, you've got sad, you've got love, you've got anger, all that sort of stuff. Let us know right down there. Keep it real. Keep it classy. Keep it on the flip side. Out there in the real world. Ugh. <laughs>